Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kyra and I am here today for day 14 in one month in my witchy journal series. <clears throat> Sorry about the fact that we're missing another video, but um, my computer was just super slow to process. So when I couldn't get day 12's video up until day 13, and day 13's video was pretty boring, I thought I'd just leave it as is. Leave day 12's video as day 13 now and press on. I don't have a lot of time for backpedaling much too busy for that so that is what we are doing it is morning I have to do my morning shit and I start with my boo tarot and getting my ghosty ghost just gonna leave the Empress there just in case because you never know if you're gonna pull the same card again there's always a chance so what's my ghost for today <clears throat> Justice. I wish this cardstock was better. And also, I can see where the Knight of Cups that was from a separate print run, because the mistake is. It's okay, and I love the deck, so it's worth it. It's just a little bit frustrating. Um, particularly the cardstock. I can, I can already tell you that the cardstock and my inability to shuffle it is kind of stopping me from using it in a, a bit. Because I love it so much, I don't want to hurt it. I, I don't want anything to happen to the boot to the to my boot tarot because I love it and I waited for it for so long. Um so having it not be on the best card stock is quite the hindrance because I don't have the money to be replacing it. Um so yeah, that's a thing. It's it's frustrating. Um I'm sure I will overcome it and I know I'm still using it every day, but like, I was really excited to play with it. You can check out that live where I unboxed it. And and the cards themselves, like, they feel very nice to the feeling of the, like, touch. But I'm, the card stock, there's like no, there's no resistance to the card stock. All it does is just give which makes it, there's justice, which makes it, um, it feels like I could just bend it clean in half very easily. So, um, I'm perhaps the cardstock needed to be that way because of the special effects. I don't know. Um, but the point is that currently the cardstock is a bit of a deterrent for me using it. I'd love to get a second copy a second like backup copy one day so I can feel a bit more secure in being able to use it justice is 11 I'd love to do that but it's not something I can do it is a full moon today so that's the thing uh, yesterday okay yesterday was the 12th, so I need to put a heart for yesterday. Uh, I don't know how Zarai's head was, and I can't ask her right now because she is taking an exam. And the rest of this is good. <sighs> July. I ordered, um, we have, we have some, um, we have to be very careful planning over the time when Zarai is in school. Oops, I did that too early. Oh, well. So, um,
Oh my god, I wrote this on the wrong day. We have to be careful with planning over the time winds rise in school. Um, because she has been our primary money bringer um, and has been incredibly supportive in letting me... It's Wednesday, so it's Mercury's Day. Has been incredibly supportive in... Um, incredibly supportive to me building my own business like she's been willing to put forth more money so that way I can build my work and it's going really well um but that means things are tighter while she's in school because there's limited funds but right now we are in a good space Bought. Um, this month is a good month with funds to do some planning ahead and put aside some extra money. Um, so I ordered myself my next two journals so that way, and I got B5. Um, I don't think I'm going to go back to A5. I just... I just feel done with the A5s. Um, I'm, I ordered those now because when I need them, I'm not going to have the money for them necessarily. So that kind of an advanced planning thing. Okay. Let me look at one thing. Um, Today is Mercury's day, and it's a full moon in Capricorn, which is an interesting combo. Mercury in the sky is, square, is squaring Chiron in the sky, which is also an interesting combo. So let's see. had to talk to my kid while I shuffled there. So what do I need to communicate today? What do I need to communicate? Oh, what do I need to communicate? Okay, there's one. Let's get a bit more context. Why are you still popping out? I don't even know if this is supposed to be my card because the way it fell wasn't clear. To me, can I have some more context? And if you really want me to have the Queen of Swords, oh goodness. Um, Warrior Nine and the Lovers. Warrior Nine is the Nine of Wands. And the lovers is the lovers. I'm going to read the poem from Warrior Nine. I'm going to read the poetic parts. All, all you who my protection seek, from the bravest to the meek, with circles flame my wings of gold, and angel's helm I will enfold. And then the lovers... We are apart, yet we are one. We are the chalice and the blade united. We are the life which flows and burns within and through all things. Through the power of our union, much may be born. Sun and moon, dark and light, we come together. Uh, we come together, raven and dove, and as fire and ice entwine. 
The egg awaits the blessed hatching of a new religion. Love is all. Love is beyond. Love is the truth which binds all things. It is our purpose. It is our life. What is opposed must be united. What is separate is brought together under us. Stone, river, wind, and fire, sleeping still through the lovers they awake. We bring new life to the world. We bring joy of connection. We are the first marriage and the last. We are war and peace. We are joy and despair. Through all, the run, through all this runs the fiery water of love. None shall be denied our path if you seek with a pure heart. Keywords, love, choice, partnership, polarity, alchemy, marriage, sex, passion, collaboration, kundalini, commitment. And this was my card. Today, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday, Sunday. This was my card on Sunday. Um... I wrote, communicate and protect, bracket, sh cherish your commitments. Okay. Got all of that all done. Now to today. I so have lots of do. Um, bullet journal video is done because my bullet journal video yesterday didn't end up going, so it got up today. Tarot of Vampires is, like, already scheduled. It's going up at noon. Um, by the time you've seen this, it's already up, so that's up above in cards if you're interested. But it, it's already going up is the whole point. So, I have a client tonight at 8.30. All right, well... I have nothing to do in my journal right now except get to actual work. So, let's leave this part here. Okie dokie. It is the full moon in Capricorn. I hate it. Not having a good day. Shit is shitty. I don't want to do this shit. Shit is shitty and I don't want to do shit. We are not having an easy time in life. Nothing really is going on, just so much so that our family is just having trouble. Our family is having trouble. We're having trouble being good, supportive parents to our kiddo. Oh, just sucks. Anyways, um, I started last month using this for my full moon readings. Um, something about the uh, personal growth factor of the spread of the change one felt extra good. Um, so what I've been doing is I split it into the three different piles. There's the shadow work cards, the flux cards, and the call to action cards. And the shadow work cards, um, contain cards that capture common, like, ego triggers. So there's... The flux cards are overarching concepts that govern our worldview and can shift depending on the context and the relationship. The call to action cards contain powerful action words to help you create forward momentum and channel your intention. So that's what I liked about these. But um, just for funsies, let's see. Oh, and it the thing is clear because I was trying to do a reading. There. There's my stuff. I do have the full deck, which I could use. How many piles does it break into? There's the seeker cards. There's the focus areas. Light work. Shit. 
shadow work. Boundary. Expansion. Success. And processing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, eight cards isn't like, it's a big reading. It's not the smallest reading. Um, what do I want to use? I kind of want to do the whole big thing. Let's try it and see how overwhelming it is. So I'm going to put these ones away for now. I want to try the, um, I want to try a big one. Okay. Focus area is easy. This I'm going to base on my house. Uh, the Capricorn full moon is in my seventh house of connection relationships. Easy peasy. It's one on one. It's nice and easy. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Hmm. All right, well, that part's easy. And then the rest. Okay, let's see. The secret card character. Highlight me in this area. Are these all positive? Seeker, worldview, motivation. Mm. Hmm. This is Okay, here's what I'm thinking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here's what I'm thinking. The truth is, this area is really, really fucking hard for me. Um, I really feel like we're struggling. Because... Even though we are working very hard, we are having a lot of trouble knowing how to, and, and in practice, parenting our child in a way that is healthy and supportive. And there's various reasons why that is hard for us. One being that... One being that we were never parented and supported well, and another being that, there we go, that's better, and another being that um, we are extraordinarily burnt out. And 
and we just are trying to develop the tools and it's hard to develop tools when you're burnt out. The point is there's a lot of work here that we need to do. I'm, I'm currently thinking that if I do this as a nice overview, then I can, I can dig, deeper into it with more details later. I just put some lotion on my hands because we went swimming so my hands felt stupid. Y'all, I tell you, I'm just, I just really just am feeling my depression. I just don't want to do anything. I don't want to film I don't want to, I just want to wallow. I just want to wallow and fix my house and fix my family. And I don't know how. Parenting is really fucking hard. So, in all honesty, this reading might not even get some anywhere. Sometimes... <coughs> Sometimes when I try and do readings, when I'm feeling my depression like this, it doesn't go anywhere. And in fact, I think I just got a better idea. I feel like I have to, like it's required of me to do something. Because I'm doing all these extra videos and so I feel like I'm required to do something so I'm not bored. And that's my imposter syndrome. Um, and that's not true. Um, necessarily. At the same time, I feel like I want to persevere because, um, because I tend to give up easily. So here's what I'm thinking. I don't think I'm going to force myself to go all big and elaborate. I think in reality, it would be pointless and unhealthy for me to force myself to do a reading right now, uh, at least in depth. But there is a type of reading that I like to do that would be perfectly healthy and could help me kind of feel my brain. So let, let's do that. I had paused. I don't remember where I paused. So, because I'm feeling weird, what I've decided to do is I got my boo tarot, and I'm going to do just a classic reading that I found off Pinterest years ago. I'm sorry, I don't have the credit for it. Um, I can try and find it, but it's been years, and I've tried to find it since then, and it's kind of hard to track down. I will try. So if I find it, you'll see it in the editing or in the description. So this is my number one, what I recommend for folks. It's five cards. Super easy. Emotionally I need, spiritually I need, physically I need, mentally I need, currently I feel. So I used to do this more for myself and for some reason I stopped. I should use this more and I'm thinking about offering it, adding it to my list of um, regular, like not combo, just tarot readings uh, because it's a really good, well-rounded thing. And it's a great way to just figure out what's going on. Okay. So we're just going to do this because I feel like shit. So emotionally, I need emotionally. Mentally, I need I'm not doing four. That's ridiculous. Mentally.
I just had to check with myself because I was wondering if I should take the three because three is connected to my matron um, or to the deity I work with. And I was like, I'm not sure. I don't always take three. Um, and so I was asking the deck, which is a thing I do. And then the deck, I, I thought, like, you can ask decks a yes or no question and cut or pull a card and say, if, if the answer is yes, give me a major. So, like, am I in a good mood right now? Now you're just being fucking funny, deck. Anywho. Um, uh, so I was doing that. And I turned over the cards. And the message of them is strong. So I double checked. And I'm counting those as my message. I, like, I can tell you already clearly that this is a strong message. So, emotionally, mentally, physically, I need. Physically, I need. Physically, I need. Physically, I need. Oh my gosh. Oh, come on. Physically, I need. Three again. All right, fine. Spiritually, I need. Spiritually, I... Okay. Currently, I feel, and that goes in the middle. Oh, come. Yeah, I get it. I feel a lot of shit. Currently, I feel. <sighs> yep, that was it. All right, let's see what we got. Emotionally, I need four of cups. Mentally, I need star, the nine of swords, and the knight of wands. Physically, I need the lovers, the king of wands, and the four of swords. Wow. And spiritually, I need the Knight of Cups. Uh, emotion, currently, I feel Ten of Wands. All right. Hello. Welcome to my face. I sincerely hope I don't drop you all on my face. <laughs> Although, admittedly, that would be really fucking funny to have in a clip. Welcome to my bed. <sighs> Never thought I'd bring YouTube to bed with me, but here we are. I'm... I was sitting at my desk. And I was like, okay, I'll do a time lapse of journaling, or I'll do my evening thing, or... I'm struggling. Uh, 
and I'm tired and I'm burnt out. And I'm struggling. I'm not in any immediate danger. I'm not going to be in any immediate danger. I'm tired because I feel like my family unit is falling apart. My wife and I are struggling with parenthood struggling with being good parents, being supportive parents. We love our son so much and he's the most sweet kid ever and we're so overwhelmed with everything that's expected of us and so tired because of everything that's expected of us. And because, mostly because a weird thing happens to your brain when you're raised on trauma. And, um, and you, when you try to claw your way out of it, it takes time. We are, We've reached the point where we finally realized how long we've been burnt out and it takes time to recover from that kind of burnout. It takes years and it comes in ebbs and flows and welcome to the down. I knew it was coming. I could feel it. I could feel it in my body. I could feel the down coming. It's funny, I don't know if I saw the astrology first or if I felt the down coming first. Who knows? Could be either. Let's sit up. There's my wall. There's two separate Peggy hangings behind me, by the way. You can check out Peggy's shop. The fan's nice. I knew the down was coming. Uh, and yes, my bed is directly on the floor, in case you're wondering. Um, no, I'm not comfortable. I want to be down. All I want to do is be a blob. And the more time I spend being a blob, the worse of a parent I am. And I all I, I want to help my kid, and I don't know how. Like he's he's okay, but we're spending we're struggling. We're struggling to set up systems that work for us. We're struggling with being overburdened and overwhelmed with all the things we have to do, and. Here I am, having put extra stuff on my plate with these monthly videos. And I don't want to stop doing them. I've been having so much fun. I love talking to you all every day. But editing, oh my god. Ugh. The extra editing is rough. And I'm also trying to prepare from, for new things going up. Like new videos that I'm really excited about. And I feel like my journaling videos are boring and I and I feel like I can't ever have a I, I feel guilty if I miss a day um, and then also we went swimming my head is extremely itchy and then also I feel like if I just do my normal journaling it's boring and it's not worth it and I'm already wondering if my journaling videos are worth time because it seems like um, they don't get as good, like, they don't seem as well received as some of my other videos. It's, it's a whole thing. A lot goes on behind the scenes of YouTube. And it can be super stressful. 
so I was trying to figure out how to interpret um, how to interpret um, uh, I was trying to figure out how to go about wanting to interpret my full moon reading um, when in reality as soon as I pulled this card for physically I need and then I got the ten of wands for currently I feel um kind of kind kind of says it all so And I sat there, and my week ahead spread, yes, I'm just going to talk with a ghost on my face now, because then at least I'm semi-entertaining. Um, I sat there, and I said to myself that, like, I need to just allow this week to be what it is, and here I am not allowing it to be what it is. So I need to fix that. So... I think we're just going to leave that here for tonight. I, th I don't want to give up on the one month series. I just think I need to somehow make it less pressure. Like, if I get the video, great. If I don't get the video, oh well. Um, if you could let me know how you feel about that. Oh, and also my living room is insanely chaotic because it was already chaotic. Um, and then I, we got a new piece of furniture yesterday, um, and relocated some old furniture that was there. And so I still need to, there, like, there's so much on my plate. And all I want right now is this. I just want to be left alone to sleep. I just want to be left alone to clean, to eat. I just am feeling overburdened. I'm feeling smothered by the weight of the Ten Wands. And it's making me tired and cranky. So, I think I just need to remind myself that <laughs> ghost on my face. I'm so weird. I think I need to just remind myself that I, if I need to miss a video, I miss a video. I don't have to do this one month in my journal series if I don't want to. I have, I have, <laughs> there, I have, um. I have videos, like my regular videos ready. It's just this one filming every day, especially with my kid home for the summer. I did not think this through. I was impulsive. I did not think. Oh my god. Um. I don't know. Anyways. I'm going to leave this here. So, we'll see how the rest of the month goes. I promise I'll have a video up on Mondays and, and Wednesdays and Fridays. Because that's my schedule and that's important to me and I'm going to keep that. Yeah, I'm going to let this end here. Like, <laughs> subscribe. I'm a weirdo, but I'm a raw and honest one. My description box has links including a sale on my website. My client readings, they mean the world to me, and they really, they help make all the struggles worth it. So, that link is there. There's other links. Um, I promise I'm not always such a downer. <laughs> I'm just having a hard time right now, and I refuse to present myself inauthentically. So, here I am being a blob on my bed. And I'm going to let you go here. And I'll 
see you soon. Lots of love. Bye.